Right then, welcome back to the garage, and in particular, welcome back to my channel and my model railway called Bala. Um, I know it's been uh, two, two to three years. Yeah, nearly enough three years since my last upload. Now, um, there's a good reason for that, and we'll get into all of that in the video in sel itself. Um, so this is sort of going to be a channel update and a sort of layout update and everything else, all in one. Um, so stay tuned, um, and hopefully we can we can make a, an all right video to set the channel rolling again, uh, as it is my my long term plan to get this all back up and running again. Um, so where can I get started? Well, I'll start with where I've been. Um, that seems like the most common place to start. Um, so I've since I left school, which was in 2014, I've, I've just been working, um, getting different jobs, um, working myself up the ladder slowly, um, get, trying to get into the rail industry, um, which I've successfully done now. I work for a train operating company, so uh, um, as train crew too, so I'm, I'm really happy with that now. So um, I'm sort of at a place now where I'm happy in my career, um, so I've got a bit more time on my hands and more motivation to get into um into my layout again and other parts of my life so that's great um and then for a little period um in the uh in the, about around 2015 16 i went through a really bad stage of my life um with like mental health and stuff so that really um did affect me what's happened with this just give me a second right sorry um yeah i went through a really bad stage of mental health and you lost i lost all my motivation to do anything um, so that wasn't great, um, but thankfully, you know, I've got some great, great mates and a, a great partner. So, you know, fingers crossed. Now we can push along and get to where we want to be in life, um, get to where I want this to be in my life anyway. Now, because that's what we're all here for. Um, for those of you who are here for the Honda Civic videos that I did earlier, um, I don't have a Honda Civic Sport anymore, although the wheels are still there. My blue one was crashed and my silver one um, I sold to get a Focus ST. The blue one that was crashed, I didn't crash it. Somebody crashed into it when it was parked up at the side of the street um, and completely wrote it off. So I wasn't at fault because before anybody says anything um, regarding that. However... Just briefly, and I'll touch on this again in another video, I do have a Civic Type R EP3 as well. So, um, I do have a, I have a better Honda Civic now. But we'll, 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 we'll focus on that um, in another video. So, we'll uh, focus now on the layout, which is the main stay of the channel in the video. Um, and this layout's been in my possession now since 2009. And in that time, it's endured... Nine summers, nine winters, sorry, ten now, bloody hell, it's 2019, isn't it? Um, <laughs> it's done uh, ten summers and ten winters now. Um, so that's ten years of expansion and contraction and all the other bits and pieces. And it is no longer looking as good as it once did. I mean, the warping on the lightning frame says it all. The boards are like a roller coaster. They go down, then up again, then across, then back down, then back up again, and then like, it's just, it's not really level at all. So, um, decision's been taken um, by myself to get rid of the layout, which is a big shock. But I've said this a few times, I've never done it. But the reason I've never done that before is literally because I didn't have my own income and my own means of doing things like such a big project, which I now do. So we can, I can sort of keep my word more now. Um, so that's the plan is to get rid of the layout um it it hasn't been working um there was a dead section um we have had to do a solder job there somewhere if I can find it there um just to break your joint in the rails that was it was always jointed oh there was always a gap there but a drop has died and we didn't wire this we don't know what the wiring does so we've just done a little plastic job just to keep it running for now um till we're ready to start afresh. The new layout will be from these two pillars, but will extend further back to the back wall and will be completely based off either side. So we'll get an extra foot to a foot and a half on the sides and lengthways. We're probably going to take it to about 20 foot, 20 to 21, 22 feet, um, roughly. So that is uh, the new project, the new layout, which is coming. 
um, over time. As I say, this layout is fantastic. Uh, the scenery is superb, but you have to admit, I've had it for 10 years and I bought it as a retired exhibition layout. So it's easily pushing 20 years old now, um, which is, it, it's almost as, it, it's almost as old as me. So it's a, it's a job and a half to near something that's on its way out. Um, so the decision's been taken to build a new one with more tracks, more sidings, a bigger depot, a freight terminal, longer trains, bigger platforms, DCC, all of that good stuff. But we'll uh, we'll move into that when we get to it. But before we can do anything with this layout, I need to convert the garage. Otherwise, we're just going to have another situation like this. So the garage is pretty bare, as you can see. And it's full of rubbish. That's going to change because the, what, what the plan is, is to put a shed just there where that table is outside in the bottom of the garden. And move as much of this stuff that we're keeping into the uh, the shed. Some stuff that we're keeping as well can go in the attic and then the rest of it will go in the skip. And then once the entire garage is completely cleared out, then we're going to get this insulated and converted into a room. Um... So, you know, get some nice flooring down and make the walls all, you know, nice and plastered and stuff. And then we're going to make it into a a layout room slash sort of my little my little escape escape room, so so to speak. So we're going to get like a proper door to replace the garage door. Um, maybe a TV there, uh, a little sofa there, a table there, and uh, make it into like a really nice place to be. Um, so that's all coming soon as I say, i'm going to buy the shed this week clear this out um i've got a, a i'm back in work on in two days time and then i'm in work again for quite a fair bit um but in three weeks when i've next got my long weekend um we're going to have one last sort of goodbye with bala so we're going to get all the trains down and run it like we used to when we were kids you know pendolinos everywhere and you know, every side in, so to speak, just full of trains. And we're going to have one last sort of farewell run of the layout before we switch it off for good and take it apart. Regarding the buildings on the layout, we're going to save as much as we can because they're gorgeous. Sheds, yeah, they can come. Station buildings, yeah. And the best part about it is they're not even glued down. They're screwed into the baseboard, so they can come. Um, Come to, so... You know, there's a, the ideas are, have, have, have been formed and the pl the plan's in place. Um, my friend's going to come give me a hand. Um, all my friends who have been with me since day one, really, when it comes to the model railway. Um, my mates from school and everything. So we can. Um, I've got a, a, a good few people who I can trust to help me along with this project and get it to where we want to be. And we, we will, pretty sure, you know, through many of hours of swearing and stress and the rest will we'll get there um hopefully i can say um optimistically but yeah that's where i'm at um in the meantime as i say i'm off so i can still run bits and pieces on the layout it doesn't run great i'll be honest the trains do slow down for the the you know the raised areas and there's a it's not completely operational so to speak but you can put trains around it it does work um i can definitely make videos on it um i've got loads of new trains so I can, I can do that, and I will do that um, today. And obviously, I'll film the the last farewell of the layout too. But as of now, that's the plan. Um, is it's it, it it's on limited time now before it is replaced with um, a better layout once the garage is converted into a, a stable room. Um, when I mean stable, by the way, I mean you know it's warm. I can leave stuff in here it's it's clean and i can leave all my trains in here too because at the moment um because it's just there's new protection in it it's not even that secure so the trains at night time all get boxed back up and go away so as you can imagine the, the stress and the time that takes of putting every single piece of rolling stock into its own dedicated box and putting it upstairs back in the house you know i've been doing it all my life i'm used to doing it but I would much rather just leave them on the back, in the fiddle yard, in the depot, in boxes underneath in my storage racks. So that's the idea. 
Um, I think I've only got 1% left on my phone, by the way, so I'll wrap it up here. Um, and we'll make a few more videos today because I'm off and I've got spare time, so why not, as they say. Um, but yeah, if you've got any questions, queries, ideas, anything else, do pop them down below. Um, as, a, as That's all I can say, really, so um, I hope you have a great day. Um, thanks for watching, and um, hopefully uh, I'm, I'm back this time, so cheers. Uh, see you later, ta-da.